Tony Lista, UNICEF. Good to see you. It's good to see you. I'm so uh, so good to see you. It's uh, it's not often enough, but uh, I wish I lived on this coast. Uh, we'd, we'd see each other all the time because you're always at dealers. Yeah, always at the dealers, battling the snow, but this year it's been good. Not yeah, always, so. yeah, yeah. No snowplow business uh, for the uh, for the uh, Econolines this year. <laughs> <laughs> not too much. You know, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, I did, because I'm really curious, uh, is the, the Econoline cutaway business seems to still be just really strong. I thought they were going to be done with econ lines by now, but it's like their volume is quite robust. It, it really is. To be honest with you, when, when Transit, when Ford did the Transit launch uh -huh. uh, and we developed the body specifically for the Transit, right. um, we were thinking the same thing. What's going to happen specifically to the E350 single rear wheel, that right. 138, um, because the Transit sheet metal was a really, it is a really great vehicle. Yeah. And it, um, we thought, well, it's going to have a big impact possibly on that lineup of our product mix. Yeah. And we had Transit to come in behind to, to supplement it, but it's been running really well side by side. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hard to, to understand what the customer is looking for, that end user is looking right. for. Right. Um, but yeah, that the E-Series is doing great. Um, they've they've done some refinements moving to the 2021 model year, some some nice interior dash refinements and some different mm -hmm. things, and mm -hmm. it's uh, it's going rather well so far. What is your product mix econ line to transit at this point? Would you say 50-50? Um, would... It's getting closer. Um, I would say it's probably two thirds E-Series, okay, um, and a third uh, transit. Uh, but it's it's slowly continuing to creep up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the box, the 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 bodies that you actually install, are they vocation specific? Do you have options on the on the internals that are for carpet cleaning or whatever? Very we we do some specifically uh, vocation based upfits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we do a lot of the, the traditional cookie cutter or focusing on you know the the specific trades, right. plumbers, HVAC. Um, that final mile delivery right. that's that's a real big one right now yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so you know just tailoring the vehicle to be what it's necessary for mm -hmm. and many of these customers or fleets are looking for something that's truly turnkey sure. um, it's you know they're not you know taking the vehicle and doing the interior shelving themselves or trying to take it to third parties to get those segments done it's it's way more complete even at the dealer level where the dealers are reaching out we're doing a lot of that work including graphics if necessary mm -hmm. so that way when it gets to the dealer they're just doing the pdi yep. and it's ready to and start ready generating to revenue yeah. for that person yeah, yeah. So. That, that turnaround is just uh, critical and so when we're when we're uh, when we're waiting 12 to 14 weeks for chassis to arrive and waiting another 12 to 14 weeks for it's difficult it's a challenge sure so it, it just it, it it goes to communication yeah um and just keeping the the dealer in the loop because that dealer has their customer to report to right and you know as an upfitter we need to make sure the dealer's looking good right. to make sure that we're not over promising and under delivering right and that doing is the so critical it, it is i mean it, it, in so many cases whenever i'm put in a position where i lied to someone it's because i was lied to and so it's really critical for yep. for uh, for our suppliers to be it's okay right to up speak front. up be up front Just and early know what's going on exactly yeah exactly. no surprises yeah yeah. As little as possible. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. I wish I could get more dealers to come to this show. I know that you're dealer specific in your approach, and we I are. know that a lot of people that are here on display are uh, uh, distributor specific, and mm -hmm. so they end up having a lot of distributor people that come through the show, but not so many dealers. I wish I could get more Ford guys to come. I got to tell you, if there was a way to, to get them engaged, to get the dealers engaged to come out here, there's there's a lot to learn. Yeah. Um, there's there's obviously there's a lot of experience out there in the dealer network. Right. The, uh, a lot of the guys and gals know an awful lot about the equipment, right. um, but there's so much more to learn. There's many new options and, and many new things that that uh, that different clientele are looking for, and just to truly have an understanding of all the different ins and outs of the different options that are available throughout the, all the different right. vendors, yeah. especially like with us yeah. you know we're building that box but it's just a big toolbox so we need to know a vi big variety of different things options on lift gates cart stops remote controls it's right. different right. shutoffs different shelving options what works best so that we can help guide the dealer right. because the dealer might be getting the information from the end user or from a second a party that's saying hey this is what we need but our job as upfitters, as manufacturers, are to challenge that just to truly make sure, is this really what you want? Right. Um, there are some new things out there. So by coming to an event like the Work Truck Show, it allows you to see what is new, 
right. maybe just some refinements. Right. Um, and obviously it's it's great networking. So yeah, as a yeah. dealer, you can certainly sure. grow your own book of business that right. way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I just uh, every, every, time, every time I speak uh, at these, I'm saying, guys, I wish you, I wish you would come. Yeah. Uh, you know, to me, it's like if you're in a profession and you go to, some, you go to a special, to a seminar for three days, kind of thing is right. because you're a dentist or a doctor or whatever you go you go you get your you keep your your instrument you keep yourself sharp exactly you do it by going to events like this in That's our right. business yep. so uh i'm uh, i'm telling you ford pros you got to get here and you got to <laughs> come meet people like tony because he makes a difference so thanks again thanks tony. joe i really appreciate it yeah it's my pleasure